We might have on dogs on the select committee. Thank you, Madam. I understand this is a split call. You have five minutes. Jamie Strange. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's a delight to stand to talk on the Local Government Regulatory Systems Amendment Bill. I'd like to acknowledge the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta, um, who's brought this bill to the House. Uh, she's doing an excellent job on her portfolio, engaging with, with local government. And I'd, I'd like to begin by talking about the importance of the collaboration between central and local government. As someone um, who, who used to work at the Gisborne District Council uh, for four years, I, I understand some of the systems that take place in terms of local government. And when we have local and central government working together, um, it, it, it really is. Um, it's, I was going to say it's a beautiful thing, but it's certainly a very practical thing, um, and, and, and it may be beautiful as well. But, um, Madam Speaker, this, this is um, it's, it's fairly standard sort of legislation here, um, you know, simply updating uh, some of the key aspects around, around local, the Local Government Act. Uh, and, and this is simply an example of, of a strong, stable government getting on with the job of governing. Um, you know, some, some parties enjoy a bit more of a, a bit more of a shock jock sort of style, you know, um, whatever they do with their, with their time. But, but look at this government here, you know, I mean, look, we're not into any sort of shock jock stuff. We, we just sort of get on with governing, and, and this is basically, basically simply what we're doing. So, and it, it, it's really making this bill fit for purpose, fit for purpose. And, uh, and there's a few key areas that it focuses on. Uh, the, the, the first one I'd like, to, I'd like to talk about, and the previous two speakers uh, mentioned it as well, and that's the, the aspect around dog control. Uh, now, as I said, someone who's worked in local government, I've always had um, a high level of respect for, um, um, for those staff members who work in the, the, the area of dog control. Uh, it's, been, it's, it, it's, it's been said that all, all politics is local, and, um, and, and, and certainly local government you know, outworks. <laughs> A lot of this stuff. Actually, um, the Baha Men once said, who let the dogs out? They once sung, who let the dogs out? Some might say that relates to politicians, but I'm, I'm sure it doesn't. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's things something different there. But, but um, look, the, the uh, dog control officers are, are just an example of, um, of some wonderful people who are working to make our community um, function well, uh, and, 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 they need, um, and they need support in terms of in, in terms of updating legislation. And this specific aspect is around the, the uh, disability assist dog. So I, I'm delighted that the Minister has um, taken this into account uh, in, in terms of the Productivity Commission's uh, July 2014 report and hence made these changes. Uh, another aspect I'd like to touch on is that the Local Electorate, uh, the, the, the Local Electoral Act 2001. So the purpose of the changes here uh, to empower councils to improve represent, representative and substantial participation in local elections and to clarify when a successful candidate in a by-election may come into office. Now, we've certainly heard quite a few times in this House uh, that we need more participation in, in local body elections. Um, and, and I acknowledge members of both sides of the House who have been councillors before. And, and the fact is, we're generally around the sort of 30% mark, you know, for most local body elections. In a by-election recently, we got down below 10% for a by-election. And this is something that certainly is a problem, because we've got people who aren't engaged in our electoral system. And I'm very pleased that the wording of this legislation says to empower councils to improve representative and substantial uh, participation. So, so councils may look at electronic means. And I know the Hamilton City Council uh, have, have, have have had discussions around this, uh, and so and so this is just this, this is just one example of what they might do. But this bill broadens it so so that the councils can empower. You know, the councils are empowered to sort of do it the way they want. So, Madam Speaker, just to summarise, um, just an example of a of, of a government getting on with the business of governing and updating legislation accordingly. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. I call Denise Lee. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Happy to take.